What's up guys, H Masters here, and thanks to BC Power, we now know what LEGO Ninjago movie sets were at New York Toy Fair. Now we still do not have any pictures, but we do have a pretty decent description of what was there. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So first off, the little manta ray ships that were shown in the trailer towards the beginning were at Toy Fair and do have a set. So that's cool. They, as far as I know, I think there'll be a smaller set, although um, there is no description as to what the prices may be here. We also now know, confirmed that Lloyd's Dragon is a set. And BZ Power actually said um, in a tweet that they think it'll be a $70 to $80 set and it is a little bit scaled down from the trailer. But you know, that's one of the more expected ones and just one of the good things to have. And that's definitely one that I'll be at least hoping to get. Kai's Mech is also a set which is apparently very large but it is scaled down from the trailer which is expected. And surprisingly enough, there was no set shown for Cole's Mech, which is interesting. Cole's Mech probably just wasn't shown at Toy Fair and will still be released. It was interesting that they didn't show it there. They might just be still working on the design a little bit and trying to figure out how they want it to be balanced and how they'll have it be standing. Zane's Tank was at Toy Fair, which is cool. Uh, we don't know anything about the size though. Nia's little spider walker was at Toy Fair, although BZ Power did say that they thought that it was um, being uh, piloted by Zane. I'm assuming it's Nia's spider walker since that's the only thing that makes sense here. And then the Destiny's Bounty, surprisingly, was also there. And this is apparently going to be the biggest version of the Destiny's Bounty we've ever gotten, which means the set's just going to be huge. And it's going to be one of those things that probably would just be like the flagship set of the whole wave. Because I don't see if it's bigger than the final fight of the Destiny's Bounty, then this thing is just going to be huge and amazing. And there was also some non-vehicle play sets that were there, which is a little bit interesting. They might just be more like, you know, kind of minifigure things. Things like the Vermilion Attack. You know, you just get some good figures out of it. But it'll be interesting to see what those sets are like, because we they did not, unfortunately, give any descriptions as to what those sets will be like, but they did say that they are well done. And surprisingly enough, um, Garmadon's giant shark mech wasn't at Toy Fair, so either that set just isn't going to be playing much of a role in the movie, so there was just no reason for LEGO to release it, or just like Cole's mech, it's just probably not been shown yet, but will still be released as a set later on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of what we know about the set so far. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.